My friends and companions approached and stood by while my closest kinsmen kept their distance. Those who sought my life were egged on, while those who wished me ill spoke lies, plotting deception all the day. But I remained as a deaf man and heard them not as a dumb man and opened not my mouth, as a man who has not heard a thing and thus has no retort upon his lips. In you, O Lord, I have placed my trust. You will give heed, O Lord my God. I said, all oh, that my foes cease to gloat over me, who bless or mind me when my feet stumble. As for me, I am ready to be scorched, and my pain is with me always. Indeed, I myself confess my guilt, and I will live in anguish because of my sin. My enemies survive and overpower me, and those who hate me without cause are multiplied. Those who rendering evil for good oppose me when I sought but justice. Lord God, forsake me not, stay not apart from me, hasten to help me, O Lord of my salvation. If you, O Lord, I have placed my trust, you will give heed, O Lord my God. Hasten to help me, O Lord of my salvation. O God, my God, and God, I rise to you. My soul is thirsted for you, and oh, how my flesh is hungered for you. Like a desolate and trackless land that has no water, so did I come before you in your holy place to see the power and the glory that are yours. Since your love is better than life itself, my lips shall declare your praise. So shall I bless you as long as I live and lift up my hands and call upon your name. My soul shall be filled as with choices fair and joyful lips will praise your name. I lay on my couch, I remembered you, I meditated on you throughout the early watches, and you became for me the helping one. In the shelter of your wings, I will find your life. My soul clings to you, and your right hand holds me up. And as for those who sought my life in vain, may they sink into the depths of the earth and be given over to the sword, the prey of jackals they shall be. Kings shall rejoice in God, and all who swear by him shall glory from the mouth of fire as his stop. I meditated on you throughout the early watches that you became for me the helping one. And in the shelter of your wings, I will find your life. My soul clings to you, and your right hand holds me up. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and forever, to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to you, O God. What a mercy, what a mercy, what a mercy. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, to ages of ages. Amen. O Lord God, my salvation, day and night I cry out before you, let my prayer reach up to you, and you hear my request, O Lord. For my soul is filled with trouble, and my life came close to haze. I was reckoned with those who went down to the pit. I was like a man beyond help, but for dead. Like the slight left to lie in the grave, those you remember no more, for they are cut away from your hand. That passed me down into the deepest abyss, into darkness and the shadow of death. The grave it was a burden upon me, you poured your billows over me. You took my friends away from me, you made me loathsome to them. I was closed in and could not escape my eyes from dim with distress. I cried out to you, O Lord, all the day I stretched out my hands to you. Will you work wonders for the dead, or can physicians raise them up to sing your praise? Does anyone see your love in the grave or your truthfulness in the midst of perdition? Your marvels ever known in darkness, or your justice in the land of oblivion. And yet, O oh Lord, I cry out to you, and to you my prayer shall rise at dawn. Why, O oh Lord, do you reject my prayer? Why do you hide your face away from me? I am wretched and troubled since my youth I was raised high and humbled in distress. Legs have swept over me, and your terrors have left me shaken. They surround me like water all the day. They close in upon me from all sides. Good distance from me, friend and neighbor, and my acquaintance is so wretched am I. O oh Lord God, in my salvation day and night, I cry out before you. Let my prayer reach up to you, and you hear to my request, O oh Lord. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and forget not all his gifts from him. Who pardons all your sins and heals all your infirmities, who grants into your life of corruption, and crowns you with his love and mercies. Who fills your longing with what is good, and you use this renewed like the evil. The Lord performs deeds of kindness and vindication for all the oppressed. He known his ways to Moses and his will to Israel's children. The Lord is the one of compassion and mercy, long-suffering and manifold love. His intention is not forever, nor will his anger always last. He is not dealt with us as our sins demand, nor does he repay our evil deeds. For as high as the heavens stand over the earth, so far as the Lord extended his love to those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our sins from us. As the Father is to his children, so is the Lord to those who fear him. For he himself knows well how we perform the members we are who made of dust. The man his days resemble grass as a flower of the field, so shall he bloom. But let a breeze pass over him, and he is gone, and never shall he know his place again. 
with the love of glorious from all eternity to all eternity for those who fear him. His justice is upon the children of children of those who keep his covenant and remember his laws to obey them. The Lord has established his throne in heaven over all things. His kingship is supreme. Bless the Lord, O you, his angels, you strong and mighty one, who obey his word of fear the sound of his decree. Bless the Lord, O you, his powers, his attendants, who obey his will. Bless the Lord, O you, his works, in every place of his dominion, bless the Lord, O my soul. In every place of his dominion, bless the Lord, O my soul. Today is opposite the person of human rights, and today is human rights. The opposite of human rights, the human rights, is Christ, and the God of Christ. But the good thing is that the God of Christ Ότι καταδίωξε να μου δώσει ψυχή μου, εταμείνωσε τη ζωή μου, ζωή μου, εκάθισε με τι φωτεινέ ω νεκρού αιώνα. Η λυδία σε έπαιρνε το πνεύμα μου, έλειπε η εταιρά από την καρδία μου. Έμπλησε τη μέρα με φλιά, δεν με ρέτσε να πάσει στι έρευνε σου. Εντύπωμα στο κοινό του μελέτου, διαφέτασε προ εσά, γύρω μου, η ψυχή μου ω γη ανίδωση. Τα κίνη άκουσα μου, κύριε, εξέλεπε το πνεύμα μου. Μια από σέψου προ του μόνου του θεμού και ομιθεί με τι κατεβαίνουσε λάθο. Νόησο μη κύριε οδόν εν υπορεύσουμε ότι προσεήρω την ψυχή μου. Εξελούμε εκ των νεκρών μου, κύριε προσεκατέφυγον. Διδαξώ με το ποιή το θερημά σου ότι εσύ ο Θεός μου. Πρέπει να σου το αγαπώ να οδηγήσε με η αρχία. Έρεγε το νοματό σου, κύριε ζήσι με. Εν τη δικαιοσύνη σου εξάξεις εκ του ψηλός της ψυχής. Προδρεύσεις τους ψυχούς μου.
resurrection of Christ, let us worship the Holy Lord Jesus, the only sinless one. Your cross of Christ be venerated in your holy resurrection, we praise and glorify. For you are our God, apart from you we know no other, we call upon your name. Come all faithful, let us venerate the holy resurrection of Christ. For behold, through the cross, joy has come to the whole world. Ever blessing the Lord, let us praise his resurrection. For having endured the cross for us, he destroyed death by death. Mercy on me, O God, according to your great mercy. And according to the abundance of your compassion, blot out my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from my lawlessness and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my lawlessness and my sin is always before me. Against you only have I sinned and done evil in your sight, that you may be justified in your words and overcome when you are judged. But behold, I was conceived in transgressions and in sins of my mother before me. Behold, you love truth. You showed me the unknown and secret things of your wisdom. You shall sprinkle me with hyssop and I will be, made, be cleansed. Shall wash me, and I will be made whiter than snow. You shall make me hear joy and gladness. My bones that were humbled shall greatly rejoice. Turn your face from my sins and blot out all my transgressions. Let create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and uphold me with your guiding spirit. I will teach transgressors your ways, and the ungodly shall turn back to you. Deliver me from guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall greatly rejoice in your righteousness. O Lord, you shall open my lips, and my mouth shall will declare your praise. For if you desire a sacrifice, I would give it. You will not be pleased with whole burnt offerings. A sacrifice to God with a broken spirit, a broken and humble heart, God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, in your good pleasure to Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then you will be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with offerings and whole burnt offerings. Then shall they offer young bulls on your altar. Joy of all men, the truth who is Christ our God, the light and the life, the resurrection of the world has appeared unto those on earth in that he is benevolent, becoming the type of the resurrection and granting divine remission unto all. Granting divine remission unto all. Your disciples, O creator of all, you declare, your declared, saying, brothers and comrades, our friend has fallen asleep. Thus you foretold them and taught that you know all things as the creator of all things. So onward let us go and see a strange burial. <clears throat> and behold Mary's lament in the tomb of Lazarus. For I shall work a miracle there, preluding the cross and granting divine remission unto all. Granting divine remission unto all. On April 16th we commemorate the holy women martyrs Agape, Irene, and on this day we also commemorate St. Felix the Bishop, Canarius the Presbyter, Fortunatus, and Septiminus. On this day we also commemorate the Holy Martyrs Leonides, Carissa, Niki, Galina, Kalis, Sudechia, Basilisa, and Theodora. On this day we also commemorate the Holy Martyr Irene. On this day the Holy Neo Martyr Michael for lay witnessed and died by the sword in Smyrna in the year 1772. On this day the devout monastic martyr St. Christopher witnessed and died by the sword in Adrianopolis in the year 1818. On this day, the Saturday before Palm Sunday, we celebrate the rising of the holy and righteous friend of Christ, Lazarus, who had been four days in the grave. But Jesus, you breathe a token of moral essence, your friend you revive, a token of divine potence. Your session of your friend Lazarus, O Christ our God, have mercy on us. Amen. Lord, in love for you, the believers. Perfect. 
thing. He does not stumble because he sees the light of this world. But if anyone walks in the night, he stumbles because the light is not in him. Then he spoke, and he said to them, Our friend Lazarus has fallen asleep, but I go to wake him out of sleep. The disciples said to him, Lord, if he has fallen asleep, he will recover. Now Jesus had spoken of his death, but they thought that he meant taking rest and sleep. And Jesus told them plainly, Lazarus is dead, and for your sake I am glad that I was not there so that you may believe. But let us go to him. Thomas called the twin said to his fellow disciples, Let us also go that we may die with him. Now when Jesus came, he found that Lazarus had already been in the tomb for four days. Bethany was near Jerusalem, about two miles off, and many of the Jews had come to Martha and Mary to console them concerning their brother. When Martha heard that Jesus was coming, she went and met him, and while well, Mary sat in the house, Martha said to Jesus, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. And even now I know that whatever you ask from God, God will give you. Jesus said to her, your brother will rise again. Martha said to him, I know that he will rise again in the resurrection at the last day. Jesus said to her, I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he die yet, shall he live. And whoever lives and believes in me shall never die. Do you believe this? She said to him, Yes, Lord, I believe that you are the Christ, the Son of God, who is coming into the world. When she said this, she went and called her sister Mary, saying quietly, The teacher is here and is calling you. And when she heard it, she rose quickly and went to him. Now Jesus had not yet come to the village, but was still in the place where Martha had met him. When the Jews who were with her in their house, consoling her, saw Mary rise quickly go out, they followed her, supposing that she was going to the tomb to weep there. But then Mary, when she came where Jesus was and saw him, fell at his feet, saying to him, Lord, you had been here, my brother would not have died. When Jesus saw her weeping, and the Jews who came with her also weeping, he was deeply moved in spirit and troubled, and said, Where have you laid him? They said to him, Come and see. Jesus wept. So the Jews said, See how he loved him. But some of them said, Could not he who opened the eyes of the blind men have kept this man from dying? Then Jesus, deeply moved again, came to the tomb. It was a cave, and a stone lay upon it. Jesus said, Take away the stone. Martha, the sister of the dead man, said to him, Lord, By this time there will be an odor, for he has been dead four days. Jesus said to her, Did I not tell you that if you would believe, you would see the glory of God? They took away the stone, and Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank you that you have heard me. I knew that you have heard me always, but I have said this on account of the people standing by. They may believe that you did send me. When he had said this, he cried out with a loud voice, Lazarus, come out. The dead men came out. And his hands and feet bound with bandages, and his face wrapped with a cloth. Jesus said to them, Unbind him and let him go. Many of the Jews, therefore, who had come with Mary and had seen what he did.
Glory to our God, who has power over death, raise us to in the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Please rise as we continue. Let us say with all our soul, with all our mind, let us say. Celestial kingdom. Let every guarded by your might, 
in the sky, glory to you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and unto the ages of ages.
from us sinners, our supplication, bring it to your holy altar of sacrifice. Enable us to offer gifts of spiritual sacrifice for our sin, to the and to repeat the demons worthy. By your grace, your sight that our sacrifice may be well pleasing to you. The good grace of your spirit may rest upon us and upon these gifts presented upon all your people. The mercies of your only begotten Son, whom you are blessed together, your all holy and life giving spirit, now and forever of the ages of ages. Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father. 
is all, and he loses my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you for many, for the remission of sins. Amen. 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 The sight of the sun in those fair or make the panda can be a panda that all of thine own be offered to thee on behalf of all and for
the Son, the Holy Spirit, now and forever of ages of ages. Amen. The mercies of our great God and Savior Jesus Christ shall be with you all. And with your spirit. Having commemorated all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord.
with your body, and that this is truly your flesh and blood. Therefore I pray to you, have mercy upon me, and forgive my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, in word and deed, in knowledge or in ignorance, and make me worthy without condemnation to partake with your pure mystery, for the remission of sins and for eternal life. Amen. Behold, I approach for a divine communion. O oh, Maker, burn me not as I partake, for you are a fire consuming the unworthy, but cleanse me from every stain. O oh, Son of God, receive me today as a partaker of your mystical supper, for I will not speak of the mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as to Judas. But like the thief, I confess to you, remember me, Lord, in your kingdom. Tremble, O mortal, tremble, O man, as you behold the divine blood, it is a burning coal that sears the unworthy. The body of God both deifies and nourishes me. It deifies the spirit and wondrously nourishes the mind. You have smitten me with yearning, O Christ, and by your divine arrows you have changed me. But burn up with spiritual fire my sins and grant me to be filled with delight in you so that leaping for joy may magnify, O good one, your two comings. How shall I, who am unworthy, enter into the splendor of your saints? If I should dare to enter into the bridal chamber, my vesture will condemn me. Since it's not a wedding garment, and being bound up, bound up, I shall be cast out by the angels. Cleanse, O Lord, the filth of my soul, and save me, as you are the one who loves mankind. In your love, Lord, cleanse my soul and save me. Master who loves mankind, the Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not be fully against me to my judgment because of my unworthiness, but rather for the purification and sanctification of both soul and body and the pledge of the life and kingdom to come. It is good for me to cleave unto God and to place in him the hope of my salvation. O Son of God, receive me today as a partaker of your mystical supper, for I will not speak of the mystery to your enemies, nor will I give you a kiss as to Judas, but like the thief I confess you. Remember me, Lord, in your kingdom.
the Lord raised from four days in the tomb. His memory we keep together with the leaders the martyr. Chris in the Higalera in Theodore of Corinth. The Virgin Mars Irene Agape and Ionia of Illyria and the martyr Michael of Smyrna. The Venerable Mother Christopher of Dionysi Monastery in Athos, and Hermione Nikita of St. Anne's Key down in Athos, and of all the saints have mercy upon us and save us, for he is good and loves mankind. Through the prayers of our holy fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy upon us and save us. Oh, 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 oh. May the Holy Trinity protect us all. God bless you. Please be seated. Blessed the day of Lazarus once again. Um, in a moment, we'll invite you to come forward and choose the Blessed Antidoro. And uh, for those who want to stay or are able to stay, we're going to have some refreshments, a little something to eat. And we're going to um, try to remember ourselves, first of all, and then teach you to make the palm crosses out of the palm leaves to prepare for Palm Sunday tomorrow. And then whoever can stay, we're going to do um, uh, some cleaning in the church. So God bless you. Thank you for being here. And uh, you can come forward at this time. Glory to you, O God. Glory to you, O God. Glory to you, O God. I thank you, O Lord, my God, for allowing me to become a communicant of your holy gifts and for not rejecting me a sinner. I thank you that you deem me worthy to receive your pure and heavenly gifts. Loving Master who died and rose for us, granting these dread and life saving mysteries for the benefit and sanctification of our souls and bodies. Let them be for the healing of my soul and body. Let these mysteries also be for keeping away all that is adverse. For the illumination of the eyes of my heart, for a peace of mind, for faith not put to shame, for love on pain, for an increase in abundance of wisdom, for the keeping of your commandments, for the increase of your divine grace, and for the attainment of your kingdom. Thus, by them protected by in your holiness, I may ever remember your grace and no longer live for myself, but rather for you, my master and benefactor. When, and when I have passed from this life in hope of life eternal, let me attain everlasting rest with the unceasing sound of music and the infinite joy of those who will behold your company and your natural beauty rejoice. For truly you are the desire and inexpressible gladness of those who love you. Christ our God and all creation praises you forever. Lord Jesus Christ our God, may your holy body become for me life eternal in your precious blood the remission of my sins. May the true Christ be for my health, joy, and gladness, and the dread second coming, deem me a sinner worthy to stand at the right hand of your glory, through the intercessions of your own immaculate mother and of all the saints. Amen. Thank you, Holy. We thank you, Holy Lady, for the light of my darkened soul, my hope, protection, refuge, consolation, and joy. Having received your pure and life-giving mysteries, O Master Christ our God, King of the ages and creator of all, I thank you for every good thing you have granted me. Therefore I pray, O good and loving one, keeping your shelter under the shadow of your wings, grant that I may in clear conscience and until my present breath worthily partake of your holy gifts for the forgiveness of my sins and life eternal. You are the bread of life, source of sanctification, and giver of all that is good. And to you we give glory as with your Father and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, to the ages of ages. Amen. He who willingly gave me his flesh for nourishment is tired and consumes the unworthy. Do not consume me, my creator, do not. Rather, come into the members of my body and all that compose me, my real and eternal living to my heart. Burn away the thorns of my sins, cleanse my soul, sanctify my thoughts, strengthen my knees and my bones. And enlighten my senses, holy instill in me your fear. Ever guard me, keep me, protect me from every deed and word that can corrupt my soul. Purify me, purge and put my life in order. Give me beauty, understanding, and enlightenment. Prove me to be the dwelling of your one spirit, no longer the dwelling of sin. Through Holy Communion, I entered within, you entered within me and I became your dwelling place. Therefore, let every evil doer and every calamity flee from me as though I were fire. All the saints, the ranks of the bottomless powers, the forerunners, the wise apostles, and your pure and active mother, I bring before you as my intercessors. 
as compassionate Christ receive their, their prayers and make me and worship you a child of light. For you alone, O good one, are the sanctification and radiance of our souls. And to you fittingly, as God and Master, we all offer praise daily. O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, may your holy body become for me life eternal in your precious blood, the remission of my sins. May this Eucharist be for my health, joy, and gladness. That your dread second coming deem me a sinner worthy to stand at the right hand of your glory through the intercessions of your Almighty Mother and the Mother of all the saints. Amen. Thank you, Holy Lady, Hill, focus the light of my darkened soul, my hope, protection, refuge, consolation, and joy, that you enable me, being worthy, to become a partaker of the pure body and precious blood of your Son. As birth giver of the true light, and you are guise that my heart is bare of the source of immortality, can be deadened by life, by sin, life. Compassionate Mother of the merciful God, have mercy on me. Give my heart remorse and contrition, my mind humility. Release my thoughts from their captivity. Make me worthy to my last breath to receive the sanctification of the pure mysteries for the healing of my body and soul. Grant me tears of repentance and confession of my praise and glorify you all the days of my life. You are blessed and glorified forever. You are blessed and glorified forever. You are blessed and glorified forever. Amen. So now that you serve the party in peace according to your word, my eyes and see your salvation to your favor for the face of all people. So lie and forever listed in ten paths. And the glory of your people, Israel. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy mortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever through ages of ages. Amen. Holy Trinity, have mercy on us, O Lord, cleanse us from our sins, O Master, pardon our transgressions, O Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. And is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, out of the ages of ages. Amen. To confirm the general resurrection before your passion, you resurrected Lazarus from the dead, O Christ our God. Therefore, imitating the children, carrying the symbols of victory, we cry out to you, the victor over death. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed are you, the one who comes in the name of the Lord. The joyful man, the truth, who is Christ our God, the light and the life of the resurrection of the world has appeared unto all those on earth, in that he is benevolent, becoming the type of resurrection, and granting divine remission unto all. The grace of your words illumined the universe like a shining beacon and amassed treasures of munificence in the world that demonstrated the greatness of humility, teaching us by your own words. Therefore, O Father, John Chrysostom, Intercede to Christ the Lord us for the salvation of our souls. You received divine grace from heaven and by your own lips taught all to worship the one God and Trinity. O oh, blessed venerable John Chrysostom, deservedly we praise you, for you are a teacher clearly revealing things divine. The church has been manifested as are the heavens, proliferate with stars, illuminating all the faithful. Now standing here within her, we cry out, Lord, make firm to the foundations of this house. What a verse, 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 what a verse. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever, to the ages of ages. Amen. For honor than the cherubim, the more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. In purity you gave birth to God, the Logos. Truly, you are the mother of God, you we magnify. In the name of the Lord, Father, give the blessing. God, we send us and bless which has countenance upon us and have mercy on us. Son and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, to ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. In the name of the Lord, Holy Father, give the blessing. May Christ, our true God, through the intercessions of the most beautiful Holy Mother, the intercessions of the God, Christ, sovereignty, through the apostles Constantine and Helen, and John Chrysostom, as divine liturgy was celebrated, of the Holy a Friend of God, Lazarus, the four days dead, and whom the Lord raised. And of the holy Lily, the mother Carissa, Nikki Galina, and Theodora, the martyrs of Corinth, Virgin Mars, Irene, Agape, and Hyoni of the Lyrian Martyr, Michael of Smyrna, Venerable Christopher of the Unicy Monastery, and Athos and Hermann, Nikita of St. Anne's Kingdom, and Athos and of all the saints, have mercy on us and save us for his good and love.